does attribution mean? This means the reason people give for their success or failures. What are the two dimensions of Weiner's model of attribution? These are the locus of causality and stability. What is the locus of causality? This refers to whether the reason given for success or failure is internal or external to the individual. In Weiner's two-dimensional attribution model, what does stability mean? This refers to whether reasons given for success or failure are stable, permanent and unchangeable, or unstable, temporary and changeable. In Weiner's attribution model, what does controllability mean? This refers to whether aspects of performance are within the performance control or not. Fully explain Viner's model of attribution, including locus of causality and stability. What is mastery orientation? This is a strong desire to succeed. It involves an individual learning, practicing and persisting to develop skills so that they become competent at a given skill. Describe mastery orientation using a practical example in sport. What is learned helplessness? This is the belief that failure is inevitable and that the performer can do nothing to change the reasons for failure. How might a performer develop learned helplessness? This may be developed because a performer attributes failure to internal factors, for example, lack of ability, and attributes success to, to external factors, for example, luck. This reduces confidence and lowers the belief that success is possible in the future. The more the performer attributes failure in this way, the more likely the occurrence of this experience will be. How might an individual develop learned helplessness towards lifetime involvement in physical activity? If the individual has experienced failure and believes it's because they are no good at physical activity due to lack of ability, and that any success that they may have had in the past was due to luck, their confidence is likely to be low and they are unlikely to believe that they will be successful in the future. Therefore, they are unlikely to, be, to participate in lifetime physical activity in the future. What is attributional retraining? This is the process of changing where a performer places the reason for their success or failure. It should be focused on internal, unstable and controllable factors. Describe the process of attributional retraining. This process involves encouraging the performer to change how they view the reasons for the effort is unstable, it can change, so he can try harder next time in order to achieve mastery orientation, raise confidence and self-esteem, develop pride and increase the expectation of success in the lifetime involvement in physical activity. In order to promote mastery orientation, the following strategies could be used. Raise confidence and self-esteem to give a sense of control over performance and outcome. To employ smart goal setting to raise motivation. Change negative attitudes to positive attitudes using the cognitive distance theory and verbal persuasion. Ensure positive experiences in physical education and physical activity. Reward achievement with positive reinforcement. Change the focus from ego orientation, success judged on being better or worse than other people, to the focus on task orientation, where success is judged on improving personal performance. Use attribution retraining. 
As a coach, what strategies would you use to promote mastery orientation and sports performance to raise self-esteem? What strategies would you use to avoid learned helplessness in order to develop positive behaviours towards lifetime involvement in physical activity? In order to avoid learned helplessness, these strategies could be used. Raise confidence. Critically evaluate the effects of attribution theory on performance. Critically evaluate the effects of attribution theory on sustaining a balanced, active and healthy lifestyle. Discuss the reasons for success and failure in sport. Failure should be attributed to external causes. This way, failure is not seen as being the fault of the performer. This helps maintain confidence, self-esteem and motivation and belief that success is possible in the future. Success should be attributed to internal factors such as ability and the amount of effort put in by the performer. This helps raise confidence and increases belief that success avoidance behaviour, promote approach behaviour, promote participation in a balanced, active, healthy lifestyle. When answering any question which asks about a balanced, active, healthy lifestyle, what concepts must you include in your answer? You should be looking to include the following concepts, regular exercise, a balanced diet, positive mental health, social well-being, not taking drugs and consuming a limited amount of alcohol. 